fantastic thing about Southampton is the, is the wide cultural offer that you've got in a city that's only at the end of the day less than 250,000 people. Once I started looking, I just found so much going on in Southampton. So there's this really vibrant cultural scene. Most people think of Southampton as a, as a modern city and people think of the docks and the port and they don't realise it has a history going right back to Roman times. We very much encourage people to stay in Southampton to discover its wonderful history which we're able to relate going back to the Vikings. What we have now is called the QE2 mile and you can set out from the Sea City Museum and walk all the way down to the Town Quay. And from the bar gate down you will see plaques in the pavement that all recall Southampton's history and connections with the sea. Southampton's got a really vibrant music scene. There's a lot going on whether you want to go and see a gig or if you're in a band and you actually want to perform. We really do have some fantastic fantastic musicians in the city. We have a regular Three Monkeys night every month and I'm just blown away. I sit there and I think I can't believe we have these people living in our city. So Hampton has some really great events as well throughout the year. There's lots of opportunities to go and see music indoors and out. So over recent years we've had Ejector Seat which is a big family music festival and most recently Common People and that brings some really top music acts and performers into the city. There's a great art scene in Southampton. We've got some fantastic galleries that hand saw at the City Art Gallery to name two of the big ones but I think in recent years we've seen the Ha Ha Gallery and the Orb Gallery open up in Northern Road and I think that's a sign that the city can foster new organisations and artists can actually develop a career here. The art gallery is, is a very beautiful place as, as well and again a bit undiscovered. Yeah, the, the art gallery has a fantastic collection. It's, it's, it's one of the most important collections of 20th century British art outside the Tate. I think the, the wonderful thing about Southampton is the fact you've got a large scale presenting theatre and you've got a regional producing theatre in the Nuffield and what we try to do very closely work together to ensure that we're giving a complementary programme and for me it's about making sure that people that live in Southampton get the full benefit of their local theatre and making sure that those people that come on the cruise ships stay in Southampton they realise the offer that we've got in Southampton is considerable. In Southampton we've got lots of um, places to go and do sport you know we've got the key swimming and diving complex where we are here. Also you've got the, the sports centre um, which has got the, the dry ski slope, lots of hockey pitches, lots of netball pitches, football pitches and um, also we've got a, a great football in city as well you know Southampton Football Club has got great uh, academy and grassroots they've got a, obviously a great first team as well. As a city we're very lucky that we have a variety of well-known chains but we also have the unique offering of um, bespoke restaurants that are privately owned. Southampton has a multicultural restaurant offering. As a city we welcome many cruise passengers and tourists. We also have two universities so there are areas of Southampton that have food offerings that are suitable for all different types of people coming to the city. We have a wonderful set of parks, wonderful place where you can go relax, play some crazy golf, have an ice cream. I do love the outside space so for me the parks and the common and just the fact that there's a lot of green I think gives the city just a feeling that you don't get elsewhere. Sometimes with there's there's really well kept secrets in Southampton that you kind of like, why are you keeping that a secret? Let's share it, let everybody enjoy it.